Day 3 of the second week began with the first part of the rhythmic level 8 events as the girls competed two of their apparatus routines. Meanwhile in the trampoline events, Saray took out her second Australian title for the week in the under 11 trampoline event. New South Wales also finished strongly in the last of the tumbling events with Tani winning the 17 plus women's competition and our Tari representative Daniel Scott taking out the under 17 tumbling in impressive fashion. So Daniel, it's your first national championship and uh, you've come out an Australian champion. How's it feel? It feels really good. Been first time and also winning in the national championships. It feels excellent, really fun too. I really like it. What was it like being out there on the competition floor? Um, pretty nerve-wracking. But it's good having the music behind you too. You know what you're joking about. But it's really, it's nerve-wracking while you're running and then once you start, you start. The day's acrobatics events got underway with the level 7 competitions with Millie, Jada and Shannon taking gold in the women's trio. New South Wales also claiming silver and bronze in the women's pairs. The Rhythmic Level 9 Juniors final saw all-around champion Alex Edel claim two apparatus golds, adding a silver and a bronze to her medal tally. And in the afternoon's trampoline events, Corey Wade and Kate McDermott clean sweep the under-15 DMT events for New South Wales, with Brendan Carroll grabbing bronze in the under-17 trampoline. The evening Senior International Rhythmic Qualifications doubled as a Commonwealth Games trial event. Meriden's JL Cohen fought off a shoulder injury to perform three strong routines. Despite an unfortunate ball routine, JL held on to take the all-around bronze, leading the New South Wales girls to the team silver. The trampoline team finals saw our New South Wales stars dominate the competition, taking out the men's DMT, trampoline, women's DMT and trampoline on the way to an incredible overall team victory. The evening was the final acrobatic session for the championships. Our New South Wales acrobats finished off strongly, starting with Olivia and Alexis winning the level 8 pairs, plus Alice, Charlotte and Paige winning the level 8 trios event. In the international events, Alexandra and Natalie recovered from early mishaps to finish strong on their combined routine and claim gold in the junior 12 to 18 women's pair. Meanwhile, our two junior 12 to 18 mixed pairs who will compete at the 2014 World Age Championships finished with gold and silver. Perry and Tara took gold with Aidan and Mackenzie performing strongly for a well-deserved silver.
Lindsay and Aiden, a silver medal tonight. You must be very happy with your performances. They were quite strong. Yeah, really happy. We um, did really good routines. We're really happy with our artistry scores, especially. They've really improved since state and world trials. Oh yes, I was really happy because we just had really heaps of fun and tried our hardest and we just wanted to have a fun nationals. He's uh, probably one of the, um, the most underrated gymnasts in New South Wales. Um, tough competition um, within the state, but it must be good to, uh, I guess, keep his at the top of your game. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's good. It's hard also, but we like to train really hard and each comp close that gap between us every time and hopefully overseas it'll be neck and neck and it'll be good. I like it because I like to have a challenge above me. I like to try to work hard for it to achieve it and I think we're getting closer and closer to it. How does this comp help for um, obviously the preparation for Worlds? Yeah, really good. Yeah, especially this one because you just have that pressure of getting into the team and that expectation that you have to do well so it's actually really good preparation. Well, I really liked it because I just got to practice in front of the crowd and the judges. New South Wales' 12 to 18 trio finished with the bronze whilst our senior international trio took away the silver ahead of their world championship debut later this year. The results ensured the New South Wales acrobatic team would reclaim the overall shield for another year. Congratulations to all our gymnasts, coaches and supporters on their achievements. Uh, and what's the whole state team experience like? How are you finding it? Um, it's actually really fun. You get to meet new people and what they're like. And I want to do it next year because it's really fun.